Hi there, so this is an information video for parents and carers of students in year 11 and it's regarding our PPE um, launch which took place this week um, in preparation for those exams which are taking place um, at the end of November and start of December. When we launched, we started by saying um, to students, what are PPEs? Um, and for you as parents, uh, what, what, what PPEs are, it actually stand for pre-public exams. So the public exams are those exams they do in the summer of year 11. These are the pre-public exam. Most likely you will know them from, from back in school days as your mock exams. We kind of went away from, from calling them mocks because that, that word mock gives that sense of not real. And whilst they're not real in terms of the end result, these, these grades don't go towards your, your end grades. They are important, important in the way that they are an opportunity for you to rehearse the taking of exams. And actually success in exams is, is all about preparation. It's not about the taking of the exams, it's about what goes in before then so you are ready to do your best in those exams. We've had opportunities already, obviously the end of year 10, we had PPE exams in, in July. Uh, you went through that process. And you will see from, from this list, these, these now, these November and December PPEs are your last major opportunity or the student's last major opportunity to practice that, that process of preparing and taking exams before the public exams in the summer. In March, we will run what we call prompt exams. They focus on largely those exams where there are more extended writing questions. We look at support with the timing of those, which we found really beneficial over the last couple of years. But this now is our last major opportunity to practice the process of taking exams. So we feel it's important that students really buy into that and give their best for it. So the calendar, this is autumn term, September through to December, and we're working through towards the 20th of December and the Christmas holidays. We have the half term break just coming up now. That's a two week break. I think well deserved. Our students have worked really hard since they've returned in September. But as I said a moment ago, on um, we, we launched for the PP exams this week on Monday. We did a launch assembly and then through this week we've been doing some walking, talking mocks. So these are run through exams where the teachers guide students through exams in their subjects, give them instant feedback, what techniques to use, how to get the most out of exam uh, mark schemes, which is, which is a skill in itself. So, so we've spent the week looking at those in certain subjects. We've also had a revision workshop, which I will uh, talk a little bit more about in just a second, uh, where we've given students some, some equipment and some knowledge to help their general revision process. That's all working towards the PP exams, which they're the dates for those exams that last weekend in November in through to December. So that's what we're preparing, preparing towards. You'll see it's, it's a six and a bit week half term with three weeks before we start those exams. They're not the only things happening next half term. There are some languages speaking exams for those who, who take uh, either Spanish or French. And the week after the PPEs, there's also some practical exams uh, in, in, in those subjects, those option subjects such as arts, uh, photography, uh, catering and drama. So I mentioned a revision workshop. What I'd recommend is please do speak to your child at home about all the information that was given to them. They had a lot of handouts, a lot of support materials for their revision. So they've got an exam preparation workshop booklet, which you can see on the screen there. And in that workshop, what we talked about was how to plan and track revision and how to revise. So the key message we gave was with revision, you need to think about what you're doing. Whatever you think about is what you remember. It's not about just reading through notes, highlighting notes, maybe rewriting notes. They're things that often people do because it looks like you're doing work. But we said for successful revision, we need to think about what we're doing. And we gave some examples. So here's an example of a cue card. It, it, it happens to be a circumference of a circle. It could be anything. We gave cue cards out for English with some quotes and some, some missing words for them to learn their quotes for those exams. We gave some math cue cards out. You can make cue cards in every subject but here's a cue card regarding circumference of a circle that's the information but actually a much better better cue card would look like this because when a student sees that cue card they have to recall the information so those cue cards are two side sided and it's actually revision that they can do by themselves they can do with a friend they can do at home with you you know so please do sp speak to them they've got they've got four sets of revision cue cards that they can be using and they can make their own and that is a really good way of, of revising 
We also looked at some other techniques such as turning words into drawings and creating cartoon strips. And again, it's about thinking about the information. You take a big passage of text and if you transform that information through diagrams, through flowcharts, that's making you think so you're much more likely to remember it. One of the other major things we handed out, which we feel is really important, is the PP Revision Planner. We talked about the fact that if you plan your revision, you are much more likely to do that revision. So having that planner, having it visible at home through this process is really important. You plan for the revision, that makes you do the revision. By doing the revision, you, plan, um, you build confidence. So the other sheet we gave out is a PP revision tracker. And I showed students how to use this, how every time they complete an hour of revision, they tick it off, both in the subject section on the left hand side at the bottom, but also in the total part on the uh, right hand side. And as you build those hours, you build your confidence. We're recommending, you can see it says week one, week two, etc. there. We're recommending between six to seven hours of revision per week will get you up to that 50. So combining those two sheets, we feel are vital in the success. And we've said to students, it's really good, especially when it comes to the planning, to plan with uh, parents, with carers at home so that you can agree times, this is when I'm gonna be doing that. Uh, we've also said about maybe a little reward, a level five reward if they, if, they, if they reach those 50 hours. And we said to students, it's not about major, major um, physical rewards, uh, major you know, objects or buying things. The, the, the reward is the sense inside. But we said, you know, if you, if you may be something like a Big Mac meal or something like that at the end, just to say, yeah, well done, you've done your 50 hours. That's always a nice, it's always nice to have something to, to work towards um, as you're going along and putting those hours in. There is extra support available. So after half term in the three weeks leading up to the PPEs and the two weeks of the PPEs, we are running what we call exam success sessions. Those sessions are working for an hour after school uh, and it would count towards an hour of your revision. We are doing different subjects on different days. So you can see there the list of subjects Tuesday through to Friday. They're not open for all students for all subjects. We are inviting students in for specific reasons to support them with the revision. And this for me is about mindset really. You could see this as, oh, I have to stay behind for an extra after, hour after school. But those students in previous year 11 cohorts who have, who have been successful have really bought into this and said, okay, so if I stay an hour after school, by four o'clock, I've done an hour revision. I can tick that off my sheet. That all goes towards my 50 hours. And it's actually revision that I don't need to think about as much in the planning because my teacher's planning it for me. They will get me to think about the subject in that session, but I don't have to plan in advance. So information is going to be coming up out about that, about which subjects you have been invited to or students have been invited to shortly. So please do look out for that. Um, and that will really support in the build up and through those PPE exams in those areas. And the message we gave to students that if you're invited, please be there. It's, 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 it's for your benefit for each of those exams. And the other message we gave is if there are any issues, please do let us know if there's anything preventing you from getting there. We will always look to find a solution if we can. So please do let us know if there are any issues in terms of being able to attend logistic wise. So that's it. That's that's our launch of PPE exams. Uh, it's, it's good that we've got a two week break now, a, a half term break so students can can get themselves organized, get themselves recharged, ready for ready for November and that three weeks preparation time before the exams start. Please do get in contact if you have any questions or queries about those exams. Uh, we have, as you can see, there are lots in place to support our students. And I'd always finish by saying, you know, if students are feeling a little bit overwhelmed by the situation, if you feel that they could do with some additional support, please do get in contact either with myself, Mr. Toms, uh, their tutor or any of the pastoral support available to them. And we'll do whatever we can to as we look to support them in this process. So I wish um, students a very restful half term. Good luck as they start that revision process and look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks in November.